Hey guys, your chef from Jeff Gamer here, and welcome back to Call of Cthulhu. So, we're gonna make it to Warehouse 36. That is the goal. Huh. It looks like there's a way in under this grate. What? And why do I want to do that? So what would I use to, I don't know. I could use this old winch to lift the grate. Looks like everything is in its place. All that's left is to try to turn this hand. Damn. Broke. <laughs> what? Now what? Well, well. A little mouse has got lost on our turf. Shit. You're, You're all so stupid. What gave you the crazy idea to come out to my turf? Has the cat got your tongue? You've come for a fight. What I've got to say won't change. You're a quick learner. I decide who comes in and who stays out. And anyone who doesn't respect my rules, I punish them. Is your name Cat? What of it? Maybe we can come to an understanding. Maybe. Or maybe not. Get this Joker out of here. He might have a little trouble walking on his own. Oh, I'm getting careless. I didn't see that coming. If I want to get into this warehouse, I'm going to have to deal with him. So you didn't see them put my body down, Playboy? What could have done so much damage? What could have done so much damage? Don't put that beast back in the water. Where do you think you're going? Thank you for your valuable help. Okay, sir.
You better keep it shut. <laughs> What's with you wandering around here like a hungry dog? I've got to enter the Hawkins warehouse. I guess it's gonna be complicated. No, it's very simple, in fact. Fuck off. I don't give a damn about your racket. I just want to get into this warehouse. No, we don't give a damn about you. Whatever your reason for wanting inside, there's nothing we can do for you. Cat, she's your boss. What? You listen through Keyhole. She's the boss, yeah. She says who goes in or not. Shut up, you dummy. You wanted to know that you also talk too much. She must be quite intimidating if she can make two men like you tremble. <laughs> She redid the smile at the last one who wanted to get in. I hope he had a good dentist. No, no, you don't understand. She really cut him a new smile. But he only smiles with the left cheek. <laughs> I bid you gentlemen. So do I pick nice with cats? Seems to be about the other one there. So understand by that, if I catch you again, you'll carry a more permanent reminder of our encounter. Tell me, what brings you to Darkwater? Like, I can't trust her. I don't know, but I don't have a reason to lie. I'm an investigator. I'm investigating the deaths of the Hawkins family. It's very nice of you to tell me the truth, so... Openly. I feel like I need to gain your trust. Really stupid of you. You really don't seem to know the area. Let me give you a little advice. If you want to survive more than a day in this rat hole, avoid talking about them to the first people you meet. I need to get into the Hawkins warehouse. You're out of luck. It's on my turf. It's precisely for that reason that I've come to see you. Are you pulling my leg? What I've taken no. I've seen what we're capable of. And you didn't miss me. I accept the compliment. Well, I see you're serious. To be honest, as long as it doesn't interfere with my business, I don't care. But I'll go with you. To make sure you don't stick your nose into things that don't concern you. Sounds honest to me. I'm not finished. If I do that for you, if I let you onto our turf to conduct your little affairs, you'll be indebted to me. And I guarantee that I always collect on what I'm owed. Think about it. I help you, you'll owe me a favor in return. Do you accept? Do yeah. I have a choice? Oh, we always have one, detective. Follow me. Nobody questions your authority here. I was given to believe that Fitzroy stood up to you. That dope tried to save face in front of his sailors. They revere their brave captain as they do their old statues. But sooner or later, all statues get buried in bird shit. And nobody cares. And the police? They do nothing to stop you? The local cops? The cops drink like everyone else, sweetheart. They know where their interests lie. Wow. Apart from that pig-headed Bradley. I don't know whether to admire his stubbornness or to have pity on him. Jesus Christ. It's fine. 
confused with me. You heard that? Okay. Thank you, Dumb and Dumber. I mean, can you lead with? I don't know where I'm going. Thank you. Be a gentleman and leave that for me. You got it. still need to hold your hand? Or do you think you'll get by on your own now? Don't overdo it. Good. In that case, I'll leave you. I've done enough mothering for now. Ninja! Vanish! Oh, this place stinks. Okay. Then it goes over the diary. I have to strength cuz she beat my fucking okay I gotta learn about coasters from here but I can increase since you're not only it's not in the 30s yet I can increase that right. yeah Sandy's still good She's only 24. I need to do more of my life instead of make YouTube videos. <laughs> Boss is a gang of bootlegs who seems to use Dark World as a hideout. Can't always keep an eye on her territory. The zone of abandoned warehouses on her thoughts. I have the impression that all her men on Dark World fear her, even miss her, the owner of the strain of will. She loves to talk about her. She used Dark World as a point of departure for her car cargoes of whiskey, and she is slowly gnawing away at Canterfish Royal territory. What is the connection between this place and the Sarah Hawkins case? Let's do it. Can't sleep. I know how that feels. A cultism. Is this one of Sarah Hawkins' paintings? Not yet. Someone treasures this crumpled picture to the point of sleeping with it. Not done yet. What happened here? Somebody was angry. It smells as bad as it looks. You seem like a company. 
You're trying to manipulate me, Mr. Pierce. I hate All right, Inspector Lestrade. Let me take a more direct approach. Can you explain what this painting is doing here? This strange approach. Wait, I know it. It was in the Hawkins mansion when we came to investigate the fire. So you confirmed that it was removed from the crime scene? I'd like to go and see the mansion. Of course. You want to go back along his trail? I'd like to understand how this painting made it to here. Come on. My car is parked down the way. Andrew, could you please shut the door? Open your eyes, damn it. This guy went right on the This case has nothing to do with you, Baker. Clear the passage or I'll shut you up for obstruction. Officer Bradley, you've finally grown a pair. Too bad you're too fat to see them down there. Why, you? Come on, keep the smile. You don't want to force me to widen it. Okay, I get it. Can we go to the mansion? I thought I'd straightened you out, mister. I am disappointed, but we'll meet again. Is it far, this mansion? Look behind you, at the top of the ridge. You see the building? That's the Hawkins mansion. Come on, we got some driving. Here we are, Hawkins Mansion. The place has been abandoned since the fire. There's only old Winchester in his hut. I prefer to be prepared. Wise attitude. But apart from old Silas and some rock floorboards, there's nothing to worry about. You're talking about Winchester. That's right. The Hawkins old caretaker. Strictly speaking, he ain't dangerous. But since the tragedy, he's been a little tough. Though, he's a remarkably sturdy man, given his age. A true force of nature. A sad old man. If you don't want to listen to my advice, we might as well go, right? He's clearly not doing any good. You know, Silas Winchester has been working for the Hawkins family as far back as I can remember. Charles was like a son to him. The day of the fire, he lost his whole family. But he's got nowhere to go. And, as you'll see, in a way he's still watching over. Is there anything else you want to ask me? Or do you want to go up there? Night okay. falls quickly here. And I want to be able to see when you arrive. I'll go with you. If only to reassure Silas. Why not? We can help. Right. Let's go. I mean, you lead the way.
Poor kid. Flowers and Sarah Hawkins' grave are fresh. Someone must really hate Charles Hawkins. I told you, Silas Winchester is still watching over the Hawkins family. I must say, it's pretty gloomy. So, Detective, does this place inspire any thoughts? Yeah. Do you know if Charles Hawkins had any enemies? Not one well-respected personality on the island. I don't understand. Silas would never have let such a thing happen. Why were they there? I was given to believe that it was Charles Hawkins' wish. Strange idea. I imagine Webster wasn't too pleased. Mrs. Hawkins' father? Let's go to the night. Please give me a minute. I didn't expect to set foot back here after the burial. What kind of deranged individual would defy my sanctuary? And steal a burnt painting? I don't see Silas doing such a thing. Let alone. Okay. Called like orders and judge, he's no great sloop, but he seems more inclined than his other colleagues to discover the truth of the Hulk case. The heavens of the island seem to be friendly with him. He can help me investigate. Talk is matches perch on top of a steep cliff. Hawkins warehouse village is unamused. But since Charles Hawkins death, this warehouse basically house a chest they rest the signs of life. Attest to the fact prisoner blood, same with passion, most also we know that probably removed from a wound. As well as pain, pills, painkillers, and pills over the occult. See spills says occupants see spills says with Sarah Hawkins as attested by the presence of several documents connected to the artist's life photograph press cutting. But is this discovery of a partly charred painting recognized by Officer Bradley as having come from the Hawk Smashers that allows all dogs to be lifted as the link between the contents of this building and the Hawkins case? Even that raw bacon is above that. Lord, have pity on this poor family. Someone must really hate Charles Hawkins. Guess he's standing there. Right, guys we have reached the mansion i think this is where we're going to end this video right here again thank you for watching be sure to like and subscribe to the channel as always we'll see you in the next video peace